My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Jim, in the sports, someone coming for the throne. Your boy, Laz Diaz, 3, 2, 1, 8.2. You started saying an 8, and then you got nervous. I was going to say A+. Laz Diaz is a great name. What's his birth name? Yes, Lazarus Diazlis. He ejects Kevin Gossman, and it's a good time because it's right before... God bless America. Right before God bless America, really going at the home plate. They got their hands on their hearts. They're trying to sing. It's a Canadian team, so naturally you think they don't respect America. Never have. This is just a dog and pony show to them. And then they just start arguing. And Schneider's trying to like calm it down, but he's also trying to respect America because he's standing on the field. What are you going to kick our asses in war and sports and everything? Oh, yeah, America. Gossman wasn't the pitcher that day. He pitched the game before. He's just a guy on the bench. Sticking up for his team because Laz Diaz was awful. One of the worst called games. Right. This is the scorecard. And then a montage of all the bad misses. They were really bad. And a lot of the worst ones come later in the game before Kevin was even present. So people were wondering. This is the conversation I thought was good. Joe West, Angel Hernandez. When Angel Hernandez retired, who's next? Right. I put money on cb buckner another good name and laz is if this is like one of those horse races on the boardwalk laz is the front runner it's a big turn for him it's a fun name i think you need a memorable name it's olympic season he kind of like that yellow line that people have in the pool yeah. laz kind of just like crossed that line it was like whoa last week we did laz the fan throw the ball at him so like he's getting heat every he's which hot. way boone mocked him you think he paid the fan to throw that ball at him he wants the title we haven't done a, we used to do conspiracy theories Every episode. They've been out. I got some coming up. Do you? Zach, that thing we talked about. Wasn't this almost a breakdown, something related, but not at all? Something not at all related. Right. You always hear about how dangerous horse back kicks can be. Yeah. I've never seen one. Maybe other people have. I had never seen one. We mm-hmm. had one last June at Churchill Downs, and the video just came out, and I saw it. And the dude gets hurt. So I'm more, this is more of like, a, oh my God. Right. That's what it looks like. He had a couple broken ribs. But watch, he goes flying. Launched. 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 And the horse, that's... Such light work. Horse didn't know he kicked. Him. Same effort as this. Yeah. Like just like skid away and the dude is launched. Hopefully he's okay recovering. But just a PSA. It's real. I've always been scared of horses. We did one of those one of those like high school nights that we're like sober, just driving around town, and one of the girls was like, Oh, my family has a horse. We could actually go see it. And we're like, Okay, this sounds cool. Let's go see the horse. We walked in the stable and was like, Wow, that horse is big. really big. The horse like whacked its head on the ceiling of the mm. barn thing, and I was like, I don't like any of this. Yeah. I don't want to be associated with this. Do I? But City Slickers, good movie. Go watch it. Ad. No, it's a good movie. Right. Oh, I thought you said bad. You said ad. Ad. No, ads for Mountain Dew. Ah! I... Jim, something near and dear to our hearts. Pole vaulting. Always an exciting one. Like, oh. Pole vaulting, 21-year-old Frenchman, goes up to qualify for the final, but... His penis. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Have you seen this yet? Oh, this is right up. Zach's it's awesome. Alley. You're gonna. This to, is like adult guts. You might have to frame by frame it or blur it because the Olympics doesn't like sharing footage. Maybe just a tight shot. Yeah. Maybe just a really tight shot on the incident. He clears the bar as he's coming down. He knocks it and there's a little wiggle. So like, if this was his body and this was his bulge, clips the bar. Yeah, it's wild. And the announcers are like, uh, and then one turns the other goes on the way down (laughs) and they go oh (laughs) that's pretty funny clip to be a 21 year old frenchman known in the olympic village for having a big hammer i haven't been keeping up with the pole vault but the american kid breaks the record like every time he does it and even if that's not true say that at local delis and gas stations you know i wish i knew his name (laughs) i wish i remembered his name mondo duplantis i knew he had a badass name Mm. that's a mountain dew name he should be sponsored by mountain dew oh speaking of this episode yeah yeah. no come back here we were just talking about the kid birth like (laughs) (laughs) wow look We've got our Mountain Dew. Close call. He almost heard us talking about him. And it's related to this not sports, but also not at all. I feel like we used to do games. Like, I feel like we used to, like, you know. Sit. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> that was close. I didn't even know the game. I just wanted to roll it, though. What are you thinking about mine? Price is right, so I beat you because I didn't go over. Oh, I didn't even know the game. 
Whose fault's that? Scotland needs more dead people. So they had a doctor shortage. We need more doctors. So they did whatever the governments do to get more medical students, open more schools, more schools. grants, whatever, get people in their funnel in. Now they don't have enough cadavers for the surgery students to practice on and they need more dead. So I thought That's crazy. This is a good plot to a horror movie. You kind of got like a Breaking Bad meets Dexter situation. Yeah. Or maybe there's just one kid, tons of pressure from his parents to graduate from med school, but med school is going to be put on pause until there's right. more dead people. So he goes on a little like finds the most worthy of dying, like Dexter. Or maybe each student needs to bring bring your own cadaver. Bring your own EYOC. dead. EYOC. Oh, it's underground med school. I'm excited to see the new Shyamalan movie. I know you are. Uh, yeah, I've been talking about it. Trapped. Trap. Or trap. trap. Are you excited about it? No. Oh, <gasps> what? It's the employees of the week. Two. It's the employees of the week. Justin and Bobby. Yeah, football. They have been football. grinding, doing uh, football content, nonstop football content. They've been doing recaps of every New York Giants uh, practice session. And uh, again, good views, good community there. So if you are a football fan, New York Giants fan, go check them out. Talking Giants. Bobby Skinner's a good name. Yeah. Bobby Skins. Mm. Bobby Skins and J-Peen, if they wanted to change genres. No. That was a weekly dumb. This episode of the Weekly Dumb is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Stop sitting around and watching us. Get off your buttocks and go do something cool. Drink Mountain Dew while you're doing so. You take one sip, gonna make you feel like you're on an actual mountain. The mountain is calling. You should answer. Grab your friends, grab an ice cold Mountain Dew, wherever refreshing beverages are sold, and do the do. I hate, I oh, hate what, Shyamalan. What are you gonna what? what are you gonna do in little white letters and quotes put no when you talk? <laughs> Why do you hate signs? I hate everything recently. Well that's fair. I don't even know. Like split was bad. bad. Um glass bad. bad. Yeah. Last Airbender was like my favorite cartoon growing uh, up and everyone and that was terrible. Have you seen the trailer for this one? Yes, and I think it's it looks more human. He's always very gimmicky. If I, I told you I this it. trailer was by N Mike Kamalam, you would be into it. But because it's M Night, you've already ruined it out. And I'm sorry he ruined Last Airbender for you. But you like signs. It's okay. Yeah. Signs, signs is, okay. is good. Bias well is real. Yeah. Do you think they're aliens or demons? I like that one shot. Ah! Yeah, breaks all. They tell you exactly what you're going to see. Still scares you. Translate that. <laughs>